33 News first at 9. The ordinance that you all are going to be voting on tomorrow gives our downtown casinos what they say they need to both survive and thrive. Why does it matter what they do in Bossier? We're talking about human lives. The issue of changing the current law that bans smoking inside of Shreveport casinos is front and center of a debate inside City Hall again. Thank you for joining us. I'm Alexandra Meacham. Shreveport City Council will vote tomorrow on whether to allow smoking inside of casinos again in tonight's top story. This has been a controversial topic for several years now with health experts pitted against the gaming industry, but state data shows a different aspect. The previous Shreveport City Council banned smoking inside bars and gaming facilities in 2020. There was an effort to revise the law in 2021, but it did not pass. Now new legislation would allow smoking only on one floor. It was introduced by Councilman Tabitha Taylor and co-sponsored by Councilman Gary Brooks. Some council members say it's needed to compete with Bossier casinos, which do not ban smoking. Bossier's revenue is up um, 7%. Our revenue is down 21%. But some residents say there's a concern over profit rather than people's health. We're talking about putting people at risk. If you felt, in spite of what Bossier did, to still put it in place, what happened aside from revenue? that is prompting this move at this particular time. The Downtown Development Authority supports the revised smoking ordinance. This is a common sense and this is a pragmatic compromise. Executive Director Liz Swain told the council the DDA is worried the new development of Foundation Gaming moving into the old Diamond Jacks Casino could lead to more patron loss and ultimately Shreveport losing both its casinos, causing a rippling effect on the economy. And that would mean the loss of jobs, the loss of tourism, the loss of tax dollars. Now, state data says the majority of casinos have experienced a decline in attendance and revenue since the pandemic. The LSUS economic outlook of 2023 cited the Louisiana gaming revenue reports of each casino in Shreveport and Bossier, and with the exception of Margaritaville, the others have struggled to regain pre-pandemic revenue numbers. And the council is set to vote on the revised ordinance tomorrow. A protest is planned outside before the meeting. Advocates voiced their opposition to the ordinance changes. Smoke Free Shreveport spoke out against the city council's amendment to rewrite the Smoke Free Ordinance. Tobacco Free Louisiana says in 2021, Shreveport became the 30th municipality in Louisiana to pass and implement the Smoke Free Ordinance. Smoke Free Shreveport feels city council is taking a step back, and they're here to be a voice for those who are afraid to come forward in fear of retaliation. Our elected officials have a responsibility to listen to this community to listen to the desires for clean air in the workplace for the people who live in this community. Today, a number of experts and community leaders spoke in favor of protecting casino workers, pregnant women, and those who have underlying health conditions.